Welcome to the Arsenic Cooking Channel. Today I will be making roasted potatoes, Russian style. In a Russian household, potatoes are an everyday thing, so I'm very excited to show you this recipe. First of all, we're going to preheat the oven to the maximum temperature. I usually set mine at 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're going to take approximately four to five potatoes, one per each person, and quarter them just like that into even pieces so they all cook evenly together and while we, i'm going to cut them i'm actually going to set them up on a paper towel so it absorbs starts absorbing all the moisture while i'm cutting them it's very important if you want roasted potatoes to come out with a golden brown color to have no moisture on the surface that's why we are setting them on a towel and we're going to cut approximately four to five potatoes. I'm just going to mash it. Uh, this just has to be in a small pieces, but if you actually take and press the garlic, uh, what will happen is it will get burnt too fast. So to prevent that, just cut it into small pieces, mince it. Here you go. Just like that, small, mince it. Do not press or anything like that. Do not press it, it has to be minced. All right, the garlic is done. Now I'm going to dry potatoes with a paper towel. Give it that one last touch. and uh, all the dry potatoes are gonna go inside this bowl. Just like that. So all these potatoes are here, cut, quartered, and now we're going to add oil and the minced garlic. I mean, I wish I could add the whole head of garlic, but I'm just gonna add three cloves. That should be enough. There you go three cloves over here, and now I'm going to toss it. For that, I'm going to use a surgical glove, just like in a, your favorite ER show, and I'm going to toss it. Make sure all the pieces are covered with oil. That's what will give it an even golden brown texture. It's already slipping out. It means it's good, ready to go. Potatoes are jumping out from the bowl here. Garlic, oh, it smells amazing. Everything smells good with garlic. It might not smell good afterwards when you eat it, but it surely really tastes good. Okay, you see it's glossy, means it's good. All the pieces have to be evenly covered. All right, we're not going to salt it yet. Uh, we'll wait when we set it up on a pan. But for now, just toss it. I tossed it and now I'm going to set it on a pan and put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Make sure they're evenly placed. Make sure they're evenly placed. Uh, that way they will cook through at the same time. Look, here is a small piece. I don't know how that got into picture here, but oh, I guess it broke off, so. Let's set it aside. No potato goes in a garbage in our household. Yeah, this three rows should be enough for family of three or four. If it's not enough for you, feel free to put more. Okay, and of course, all the leftovers of garlic are gonna go just right in here. 
All right, well, this is not enough. This is not over. We're now going to sprinkle some salt and put rosemary. Rosemary and garlic with potatoes, perfect pairing. Some salt and now rosemary. Your house will smell amazing with garlic, rosemary, your whole neighborhood will come knocking, asking you what you're cooking today. I usually get my rosemary like this. You can get it in any grocery store. Mine is usually organic. See, I have to do that plug about organic foods. The more rosemary, the better. And now it's gonna go in the oven, in a preheated oven at 480 degrees for 20 minutes. Twenty minutes. So let's set the time. And while I'm waiting for potatoes to roast, I'm not going to be sitting idle. I'm actually going to make a Russian sour cream sauce, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, about two to three spoons of sour cream. I'm going to mince some dill, just like that. Oh, got it. And now we're going to mince it. I like to put as much dill as possible. Just like that, professionally done here. You can do the same thing at home with the same kind of knife. There you go. And of course, for the sauce, I'm going to press garlic. This time, it's not going to be minced. I'm going to press it. Squeeze it out here. Grab a small knife. Right. You can put two cloves. I usually put one, especially if I have to talk to somebody during the day. Probably don't want to use too much garlic. But the more garlic you put in, uh, the better it will taste. Now we're going to mix it all together. It's a nice color. Also going to put some salt and pepper. Some salt and for that I'm going to use white pepper so I don't want to be seeing any kind of spots over here so this pepper will give that peppery taste but yet will be invisible to the eye and will be pleasant to look at okay and mix it all together and voila sauce is ready so three spoons of sour cream, one clove of garlic, salt and pepper, dill, and here you go. You have this amazing sauce. Probably can be used with the meats as well, but uh, it will pair well with the roasted potatoes that are roasting right now in the oven. And of course, how can I forget ketchup? So these are the two sauces that will be eating with. When 20 minutes have passed, I'm going to put it on broil for three additional minutes to bring it up to the desired golden brown color. So let's set it for broil. Let's set it for broil for three minutes. I can't wait to get this out. Look at this. Oh my God, look at the color. It came out perfect. Look at this perfect color. Set them up on a platter. And you can achieve the same color by making sure that the oil is covering the potato pieces. And it will come out as perfect as this one. And I'm actually gonna show you some footage of the uh, last time I made potatoes. So that way you can see that it is very consistent if you make it right every single time. Look at this, perfect, perfect.
perfect. Let's get it in. Mmm. Unbelievable. Now you know how to make roasted potatoes every single time. So until next time on the Arsenic Cooking Channel. Thank you.